Uh, it's worth saying at first that they are remarkably good already at, at simulating the general patterns of climate, the general circulation of the atmosphere, and reproducing the past trend of global temperatures. Uh, but we still see systematic biases uh, in some of the models, so we have to often correct for these biases when using other models for impact studies. It would be good to be able to eliminate that because that introduces another uncertainty and inconsistency. Uh, so if we can have detailed, realistic, regional climates that don't require this bias adjustment, that would be a major victory and we can do impacts modelling which is fully consistent uh, with the rest of the climate system. The other thing we need to do is find ways to represent the other aspects of the climate system that are not always captured uh, in the climate models, tipping points, non-linearities. Um, they don't always or hardly ever emerge from the models. Uh, you can artificially force the models to do this. We know these things have happened in the real climate in the past. We need to find ways to uh, reproduce these in a, in a completely realistic way so we can do a full risk assessment of future climate change, including these surprises that may occur.